All right. Um, so I guess uh, for those, I don't know, depending on when this video comes out, uh, um, I haven't released a few videos in a few days. Uh, that's just because uh, for those of you, you know, who've been watching a lot of these, I mentioned earlier that my working situation has changed. So uh, the ability to work is sort of, uh, or the ability to make videos is sort of becoming impeded to a pretty large degree. Um, I'll make an update video like right after this video. Again, it depends on when, when you know, how much time because I have a bunch of videos I need to upload. Uh, I'm recording this on Sunday, and on you know this very Sunday I'll be uh, uploading a bunch of other videos uh, later. So that's kind of you know the main thing there is is I have a bunch of videos that I'm going to upload all at once, uh, and ostensibly they're going to be sort of like a, a, a last hurrah of, of videos and stuff like that. Um, you know, just the last the last Guild Wars I have. I'm gonna keep doing. I'm gonna keep signing into the game, keep playing, um, keep you know doing Guild Wars. I'm gonna keep doing uh, you know Fire Emblem stuff as well. Uh, but I'll talk anyway. I'll talk about that stuff in that in that in that video when that comes out. But just know that this will probably be uploaded in a in a, in a group of a bunch of other videos, and that that's why they're they're uploaded together. Uh, stuff's going on. So, like I said, I'll address that stuff later. But uh, Ervalin. So today I'm just gonna summon for Ervalin real quick. Because uh, it does look interesting, the 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 one thing that I, I like the most about him is because is that he just looks like a discount um, Riolu, right? Like for those of us who didn't pull on his banner, because you know of course I didn't really care. Uh, he looks like he's going to be a very cool, uh, cheap sort of you know everybody can get him kind of replacement to him. Uh, do they do exactly? Do they do exactly the same thing? No, not entirely. Uh, but they're both very strong uh, single target. Uh, thieves, nukers, uh, t you know, and that's kind of what I did like about him the most was like, I can use him in, in similar places that you might use a Riolu, um, and still have him be good. One of the things that, uh, I guess I'll talk about it after I summon, because again, most people are here for like the summoning and, and want to see how that goes, and then we'll talk about him afterwards. Um, so let's just do a quick, uh, summon here, and of course we got nothing. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we got this. So we'll have a Moonlight Summon, hopefully, uh, at some point here. Uh, so let's just get in there, start summoning. Uh, but yeah, so... He looks really good. Um, and I'll, I'll mention this when, uh... Like, again, after the summoning session is over, I'll, I'll, men I'll talk about, you know, what's going on with him. Um, one of the things that I really, really do want to try with him is have him like on a slow crit damage build, uh, basically that that set that we were getting. I was gonna use that on um, what's his name, on Watcher Shuri, but take that set right, uh, put it on him instead, and just have him like do as much damage as possible. Now even then he's not gonna hit as hard as a um, as a Riolu on it with his S three uh, or his S two when it when that triggers right, because uh, you're not penetrating fifty percent defense. But you're gonna, you're still gonna be hitting as hard as you can. Now, what are you gonna, what are we gonna do about his speed? Hopefully, I can find some way to, to, to not lose too much speed. I'm not gonna build him like a 240, 220 speed, Riolu, uh, that hits hard and, and is fast. I'm gonna focus on the damage more than the speed with him. But what I find really cool about him is I'm going to pair him up with, um, with trousers basically, uh, T Crozet for those of you. I'm gonna pair him up with him, and basically that's how, that's how it goes. So I want him to be decently slow. Uh, trousers goes first, basically being him for him, right? I'm gonna, I want to build like a 240, maybe 250 speed uh, trousers. A lot of the very good ones I've seen out there have reached 250 speed. When uh, somebody in our guild has a really cool 250 speed trouser, um, but what I want is that same thing, very fast, sort of absorbed damage, uh, ignore HP on her Valen, and then have trousers go first. Oh, let's go over here. Trousers go first. Have the the EE that gives the person he's damage sharing uh, forty percent CR. So he he does his S three, gives Valen three turns of of defense buff, boosts him forward. Now he has defense buff, uh, crit chance removing or whatever, uh, or crit chance reduction uh, buff. He has the counter chance because he he has threes, uh, and he also has the um, the shield plus crowd. Uh, you know trousers is. Um, damage sharing ability so basically it makes them more or less unkillable and then by the time since hopefully they're gonna um trousers is, is fast enough that he starts kind of lapping a lot you know enough of the people that are going on or, or that are in the match 
he can S3 by the time a lot of these debuffs fall off of her Valen, presumably, right? That's kind of the idea. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of, you know, like I said, that's kind of my idea. That's what I, I want to pair him up with. I think that's going to be a very threatening um, combination. It's a combination that uh, I think is really strong that I haven't seen a whole lot of, but I think it's really strong with Riolum. I have a, uh, one of my guild members, that I, I, well, uh, funnily enough, the guy who has the 250 trousers runs... Uh, runs him with Riolu, and it's, he's slightly slower. I think he says his real is like 170 speed, which you know, that's not that's not like you know base speed. Uh, it's a little bit faster than, than speed, but 50 speed is no joke. So he's dropping 50 speed for a huge amount of uh, power on him, and then just making that up with uh, trousers is S3. Uh, so that's kind of what my goal is. the The problem is I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how uh, how to make him relevant because the thing is with 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 Riolu is like you hit him if you accidentally hit him you're, you're stacking his passive right you don't want to like get that go on too long and you want him decently fast so that he can come in and like s1 constantly to charge up the s2 so that now you're where now you have to sit there and wait and, and be concerned about you know his turns are coming right so he, you're gonna he you know he's gonna hit you with the s3 on turn one uh, his, his first turn then you're gonna you know take a few turns do all that stuff so now his s2 is charging and his s3 is charging again so he'll be able to s3 and s2 at some point soon and that's kind of where the threat comes with him um and i guess i got a new oh i got one of the new characters i think that's pretty cool uh this guy i, I haven't you know i haven't summoned since call me whatever you want everyone else does hey <laughs> call me what <laughs> wow that's a why is, is everybody such is everybody a dick to him that's messed up <laughs> Call me whatever you want. Nobody seems to care about my name anyway. <laughs> that's so messed up. Uh, that's sad. Um, but yeah, that's kind of the idea with with um, with, with with Riolu. That's kind of why he's so threatening, right? Is is in a match with him, most of the time you need to be able to like prepare, unless you're running like um, something that can you know counter his evasion and all that stuff. So unless you're planning all that stuff around, for the most part, you need to be able to like have a team that can take three uh riolu s3s is what the what the what the scary part about facing him in guild war or in uh, regular arena right is that it's going to be hard to to fight against him because you're going to take three three of his s3s like <laughs> that's just kind of the way it goes right um of course you can mitigate that you can bring you know strips you can, you can do all these things and, and that, that's kind of like the thing right you have to plan around that so by doing this you can reduce the chances of that happening right so you can either block them but if you're not prepared for riolu you're going to take three of them to the face and you're just going to die um that's what makes him so threatening right um with urvalin he doesn't have that same level of threat uh his s his s3 goes off gives him the counter set so basically it just makes it harder for people to bring in um like aoe's right because if they hit his uh his his if they hit him when he has the counter attack, the, um, when they hit him it, look, with an AOE and he has the counter attack buff, uh, well, then there you go. He, he gets a free counter. He can get a defense break. Um, and what I think is is looking kind of interesting, which I saw today uh, on uh, one of Mango's videos, is running Dust Devil so that you can defense break and then have a chance to, like, right after the, their defense broke and hit him again and basically just kill him with a one shot. Um that's kind of that looks pretty cool to me um but of course you know it always looks pretty cool um in theory uh but i still haven't really figured out what what artifacts to run on him a lot of people want to run portrait because they want him to just like straight up one shot demolish people um but his damage especially because he's not like like here's my point right he's not going to do anywhere near as much damage as uh riolu and people don't run riolu with the what's it called people don't run riolu with the portrait right like he sometimes one shots but if he had the portrait he basically every time he'd one shot but that's not why you know you don't want that on him you're not you running your real because he has 100 percent one shot potential and that's kind of the same way i look at her he he can under proper circumstances but he can the same way that um riolu can right but you don't see people who have Riolu running around building him like that, like just running him. There's a lot more interesting builds going on, and I think that's kind of the way we should treat uh, Urvalin for those of us who don't have, um, who are pulling him kind of as a replacement for that. Is think about his long-term viability in a fight rather than just 
how do I get as much damage out of the S3? Because people are going to prepare for the S3. I'm just going to, like, if I see him on defense, I'm just going to bring in, um, what's his name? I'm just going to bring Crow and then have him soak up all his hits, uh, and then just kill him with the S3 or, you know, anything like that, right? Uh, on offense, you're like, oh, no, but on offense, you can do this, this, and that, but why don't you just bring one of the other 20 million one-shotters you already have on your team, right? I think most of us, you know, and it depends on, on where you are in the game, right? If you just joined, for one, I don't think you should be pulling on or Valen, right? Um, but, you know, because, you, I mean, you'll get stuff over time, right? But, I mean, you know, who doesn't have a Watcher Shuri by this point? Well, I say that, but like, I don't have, like, a uh, T-Cern, and I didn't have a G-Perg until I got to refund my, my um, ML Zerato. Uh, so there's more uh, Perg uh, Cartuja imprints there. Um but yeah, I mean, like, if you're looking for hardcore one-shot damage potential, there's better units, is all I'm saying. Um, but for, like, single-target, like, devastating hits, there's not a whole lot of them. That Like, single-target, high damage, and decently survivable. There's not a whole lot of them, right? Like, you can, you know, Little Queen Charlotte, that's an ML 5-star, kind of hard to get. Um, what's her name? What's his name? Uh, what's his name? I just mentioned Riolu. Again, five star locked, hard to get. Not everybody has them. Uh, who else? Right, like, uh, oh, what's his name? Dark Corvus, obviously, but again, five star locked. Like, there aren't a whole lot of people that fill uh, Urvalen's niche in the the regular summoning pool. Which, you know, this is why when Riolu came out, it was kind of hard to deal with him because we hadn't seen anyone with such high damage potential, single target damage potential. Uh, with that much survivability, um, they're all a lot balanced. They're all very balanced between you know these these stats, right? You can't like you can't make Watcher Shuri that do that much damage and then be able to like withstand in a long fight. He's probably just gonna one shot someone and then he's gonna die and then you move on. You basically that's that's just kind of the point, right? You're basically doing like near because you know you're not you know 100, not 100 percent Watcher Shuri damage, but you're basically doing close enough to Watcher Shuri damage. While being more survivable than he is, as well as, um, like, like to, oh, well, basically, I mean, you know, take Shermia, right? You're basically doing Shermia levels of damage without uh, without having her weakness of just dying, and then on top of that, uh, the color weakness, right? Um, so, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of the, I think, the way we should treat Irvalin is a very good single target nuker with decent survivability. Um, that's kind of what I'm looking at here. Uh, and then we got hopefully his artifact. Well, I say hopefully, but that's just because like I wouldn't mind. Yeah, um, there's not really a whole lot of other artifacts I need other than I guess Violet's talisman. Um, yeah, that's really the main one I need. Uh, but I really wanted to test this out on him. Um, the S1 with the silence and a defense buff, a uh, defense strip or break or whatever is is like. I think I think the problem with this one is, is win more. I just want to like I'd like to test it out, like to see how it goes, but I'm probably not gonna run with it, um, just because it's a win more artifact. Like, if you're s oneing and you get the defense break, and then the silence on top of that, it's like, like why? That's overkill, right? It's, it's overkill. You need something that'll help them uh, more. Which uh, the the dust devil can be kind of seen as overkill, right? In a lot of ways, where it's like, oh, I actually wanted this lady. Um, out of the new units, she looked like the coolest. Um, but that's just because <laughs> I guess I like gilfs and milfs. I mean, my favorite Overwatch character is Anna. Um, and my favorite, oh my, I'll never, well, my favorite, uh, Mass Effect character, uh, this is Mass Effect spoilers, by the way, so just, like, skip ahead, you know, a little bit, because we're probably not going to pull him in a while. Um, we have to wait till pity. Uh, my favorite, uh, Mass Effect character is Chakwas, and I will never forgive Mass Effect for never letting me, um... <laughs> romance dr chakwas um gosh damn dude i love karen so much <laughs> uh, but yeah there you go um out of those three characters i liked her the most just uh uh the, you know visually <laughs> the, the other the other ones their kits are better i think uh, her kit doesn't look particularly uh good uh but yeah you know. <laughs> out of the new characters i really wanted her so uh at least i got one so it's pretty cool um but yeah anyway go, going back to what i was saying is, is I really think uh, we might want something. You want something on him that'll get mass maximum usability all the time, rather than like, oh, here's an extra silence on top of like, you know, the 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 attack boost, um, which is why I think that 
it, it's just hard in general because okay so you can put violet's talisman or moonlight dream blade on him and i think maybe moonlight dream blade would be best all right i, I kind of need one of these i guess uh moonlight dream blade might be best on him um but those are kind of like slightly different because the thing is because he has the counter buff and the shield and the fact that like in my in my scenario we're running trousers here because he has all of these things on him he he can be avoided a little easier so that's kind of what you want to avoid right you just want to like you don't want to make him too ignorable which is why you need at least like you know decent speed um and then the trousers is there to push him forward and constantly be have him be annoying um but yeah like with that they're not going to be hitting him a whole lot because of the counter buff and then if they find out he has um evasion on him they're going to be hitting him even less so um you know that's kind of what what what's important to realize uh, so you kind of want something there that'll that'll help him out a lot more so i'm kind of figuring out what to do with him uh, like i said the dust devil seems pretty good but that like if you're getting a counter you're already like they hit him so you're basically, you're basically getting anytime they hit him and then you get a counter attack you're already getting you know your cost back right for those of you who understand cost benefit analysis and all that you're basically making your you're breaking even if he attacks once with the counter set and then if he attacks more than once then you're kind of going forward even even further than that so if if they hit you and you counter right and then you get the dust devil counter again that's kind of overkill like it, it, sure you can benefit a lot from it because you defense break and you can basically one shot some people sometimes um but it's sort of like i said overkill so you want something that, that that's like you're always maximizing um your potential opportunity cost at all times rather than maximizing uh your individual opportunity so like when the chance comes up that this perfect you know things align you'll kill someone you don't want to you don't want to be investing too much into that situation because when that situation doesn't come up which is going to be a lot of the time mind you right you're basically at a negative is, is basically that that's the point of i'm trying to make there you know i use a lot of words because uh, i don't write scripts uh it, it'd still probably be kind of wordy if i did write scripts so i take that as you will um but basically what i'm saying is you want something that, that benefits him at all times, not just like, oh, when this specific thing happens, it's going to be amazing, right? You don't really want that. You want something that's always good all the time. I think Moonlight Dream Blade would be pretty good just because it gives him the attack buff and you don't have to worry about um, other people giving him an, an attack buff. Uh, especially because, like I said, I'm pairing him with, with uh, Trousers and Trousers doesn't give an attack buff. And I'm not, I don't have, um, I'm not going to pair either of them with a, um, with a healer that has an attack buff or, or something else like that um so that's kind of the, the point of that uh yeah so th that might be what i go with especially because i have that uh that level um let's see i have that i have that you know maxed out i have a maxed out moonlight dream blade and it's just sitting there on my um on my uh what's his name regular green violet so <laughs> you know it is what it is so like i said uh <laughs> Those of you who, who skipped ahead for avoiding spoilers uh, we're not gonna get him uh before pity um uh well let this will be it right <laughs> just for for opening my big mouth uh no it's an artifact and it's not five star um but yeah so you just kind of want him to not be ignored and and after this 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 um after we're, we're done summoning we'll, we'll go and look at um the journal and we'll hey look another one cool uh, i just need two more now after we're done summoning we'll look at the journal and we'll kind of start talking about what artifacts you might want to run on him or and, and all that kind of stuff so it kind of is what it is Uh, another artifact? Five star? No. Okay. I need more adamant shields is what I need. I think, um, what I might, a team that looks pretty fun to me is running the, uh, like a shooting star Arcades, or no, not a shooting star, a regular Arcades, Trousers, and, uh, Urvalin in the back line, right? Uh, and I keep getting, uh, Dominial imprints uh, with their Valen in the back line, right? Just because, like, you've got cleanse there, you've got defense buff. Um, if they want to kill, so you're not going to bring a fire unit into that comp, right? Because the fire unit is going to have a hard time killing the healer. Your fire DPS is going to have a hard time killing the healer. Um, so Urvalin is kind of safe because I don't have to worry about like them trying to nuke him with a fire unit. I mean, it's still if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, right? Regardless. Um, but if you bring a fire unit into that comp, it's going to be kind of hard to to kill the healer, and then killing the healer basically 
causes you to draw, which you don't want, obviously, but not much you can do about that there. Um, there could be something else to pair. It's just I, like the, the cleanse is very useful. Um, and I, I feel like, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully the fact that she's water. Wait, I, well, I was talking about a Katie's. Um, so they won't bring, they might bring grass. Oh, there we go. Cool. Or they might bring water, right? So a Katie's his weakness is going to be water. But there's a chance they won't bring the water DPS in because he'll just die to her Valen, right? Um, or she'll just die to her Valen, whichever one's there. But yeah, I'll I'll hopefully you know you know like I said there, there's videos that I want to make and I probably won't be able to make anymore. And even back then when it was easier to make videos, I didn't make certain videos that I wanted to make. So uh, take that for what you will. Um, <laughs> yeah. So here here's your Valen. So you know there you go. There's that. Uh, before we leave, I guess for those of you who just were here for the summoning, I guess we can just go do a uh, quick uh, ML summon here. Uh, let's go to the bookshop. Uh, let's see. Of course, you can piss right off. Uh, as you can see here, from my <laughs> enormous amount of stamina, I have not actually been playing the game because uh, I've been too busy. Uh, but yeah, let's get in here and see if we get anything. Nope, we got nothing. Does anybody else feel like? Oh, and I got one of the new ones. Does anybody else feel like they've nerfed the um, the regular moonlight summons? Like, gosh, damn! It feels like <laughs> I can't pull anything. I haven't pulled anything in like forever. I should start uh, pulling, um, writing stuff down. <laughs> how long I've been pulling and not gotten anything. Uh, this is this is the only one that looked kind of interesting to me out of all of them. Um, yeah, increased attack and speed, so that's pretty good. Uh, healing everybody, I mean, obviously that's kind of good. Um, yeah, but attack and speed buff on a healer is, is pretty good. Um, the fact, I mean, unfortunately there's no cleanse there, so that kind of sucks, but you know, it is what it is. Um, Oh, there you go. So there's a dispel on here. Uh, so this, so actually, she looks pretty interesting, right? Because you can run trousers to protect Urvalen, have her giving speed and attack buff, and then have her not only not only trousers giving basically uh, you know baton passing first turn onto Urvalen with this forty percent CR boost, but then have her take turns and then give one, two, three, four, five. Uh, but yeah, that's five, right? So give him twenty percent every single turn, right? And then the S1 doesn't really do a whole lot, right? Defense break, there you go, even 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 more dangerous. Uh, this team looks like it'd be pretty cool, but you need the gear to pull it off, and I don't think I have the gear to pull it off. Um, but yeah, like, a, you know, 250 speed trousers is going to be hard to get. Uh, I don't actually have that kind of gear right now. Um, but yeah, that's something that's something to consider. Like, this team looks pretty good to me. Like, just <laughs> I don't know where I was just like, oh, yeah, she can do that. Uh, and she can debuff, um, remove a debuff. So maybe you can put something on her, like um, Idol's Cheer. Oh man, that, that actually sounds pretty insane. Uh, give her something like Idol's Cheer, or uh, Wondrous Potion Vial might be pretty good too. Uh, so she can just keep cleansing. So uh, especially on Guild War, right? A single cleanse on Guild War is means a lot more than a single cleanse on like regular um, Arena or RTA because like there's four units. But here it's like one at a time. You're cleansing these people. Um, so, so I don't know. This looks pretty interesting. Um, she looks pretty interesting. I, I guess I'll have to build her. So I'm pretty grateful to have gotten her from here. Uh, but so that's that. I guess that's the end of the summoning session. Um, for those of you, uh, Athletica is a very good unit, but she's a. Not only do you have to be a whale to actually pull her, you actually have to be a whale to to have gear for her because um, you need to have her at least three hundred speed, like at least. Uh, Crow. I mean, I guess I can talk about the banner real quick. If you if you're new to the game, and you don't have a Crow, Crow is going to be a lot better for you in the long run because for one, he's easier to gear. Um, yeah, he'll always be easier to gear. When you need high damage or high speed, uh, like this, they're going to be a lot harder to gear. Uh, but Crow will be useful no matter what, because his job is just to sit there and take damage, right? And then when he's done taking a decent amount of damage, you can just kill somebody with him. Um, so that's kind of that, you know that's Crow's purpose. Um, Urvalen is going to have to you know you're going to need a lot of gear, you're going to need units to build around Urvalen. Um But Crow, who he can just sit there and do you know what you want him to do. With you know decent gear on him, so if you're newer to the game, I say you know you summon Crow and and for two, I, I say what are you doing on this channel? <laughs> How did you find me? Um, but also you know like if you're if you're older and you're more experienced at the game, um, and you still don't have Crow at this point, I really do feel like you know 
you really should be summoning for Krowl because he's going to be a lot more useful to you in a lot of situations uh, than Ervalen. But this is where this is one of those ones where, like, since you're more experienced, you know what what it hurts more. Like, are you hurting more for a for a single damage unit, or are you hurting more for a Krowl tank? And personally, I mean, it's hard for me to say at this point because I've had Krowl since like forever, since way early in the game. Um, so you know, right from my perspective, it's like. You know, I'm, obviously, I'm pulling for a Valen because I already have Crow. <laughs> That's kind of the bottom line, right? Um, but it, 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 for me, it's it's hard to think back and be like, how bad would it have been to be playing this game without a Crow? And kind of thinking back, I, I wouldn't know how bad it is, you know, like 100%. But thinking back, it's like, damn, there's a lot of I I, I use Crow in a lot of stuff. So if I didn't have him, it, it would be really like I probably would have lost a lot of things I wouldn't have lost normally. Um, so yeah, ultimately, I really do think you should pull for Crow over a Valen. Um, but, uh, if you're, if you're, if you're worried about not having enough resources coming up, then I think that's, that's even a bigger thing. So, um, be prepared for what might come after Valen and Crow. That's so, that's so, I mean, that's something you always want to be wary of, right? Like it's a bit cliche, but it, it like, if you're free to play, you're not just going to spend money to summon all the time. You always, always need to have, need to be wary of what might come next. Like you never want to be caught off guard, um, Oh, I didn't have enough to summon this new unit or something like that because it's never something a, a position you want to be in. Um, so yeah, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, not go here. Let's go talk about our Valen a little bit uh, in the journal. So basically, the the main thing I've already kind of said a lot of what I wanted to say uh, in the while I was summoning, obviously. But let's kind of think about what specifically the, the artifacts are we have here. This is probably the worst one you want to be running on him just because it'll remove his buffs quicker and that's not something you want, right? You don't want to lose all these buffs so quickly. So I think out of all of them, that's like the one you don't want. Wind Rider is, I feel like it's okay, right? Because you S3 and if you kill someone, like in RTA, you'll have control over that. And then in regular arena, right? You'll have control over that. But you got if you're thinking about running him on defense, which I kind of am, um... You need to worry about uh, him, like people just, like I said, you can just bring Crow. It's kind of funny that like, you, you know, his defense AI, they just, they just like, here's the counter to him uh, in Crow, right? But yeah, in, 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 de on defense, which, which is the main reason you don't want him, you, people might argue not to run him on defense uh, is because the Crow is there. Uh, and I would agree with that. Like if anybody tells you that he's not very good on defense, um, I would agree hundred percent. Like don't, try, uh, probably don't run him on defense because Crow, I mean, for one, Crow just came out again, uh, and most people already have a Crow, so uh, yeah, it's something to consider. Um, so yeah, that was that. What was the other thing? Uh, so this one, it, yeah, it's hard to like run this on defense because he's just gonna hit Crow and not kill him and do whatever, right? Uh, the Alexis basket looks pretty interesting on him because you can get the, the the greater. The thing is, I don't think anybody's tested enough with it um, to make it worth using the thing about rb with this is that rb hits the whole team so he can wipe an entire team with this where he gets it once and it's like mm. um one of the things you want to consider is think about like what might be good on riolu and the fact that like nobody runs this on riolu now there's better options on riolu so that's kind of another thing to consider right uh, but the fact that nobody really cares too much about this on him uh kind of says a lot where it's like the damage isn't as good as what you could be getting from like more dodge or something like that um, but yeah, like him with a greater attack buff, I, I think, like I said, the, the main threat you're worried about is Crow attacking you. If you're, if you're, if you want to run him on defense, the main threat you have to worry about is Crow. Um, basically no other water unit. It's going to, they're not going to bring any other water unit to counter you. Um, but Crow is just so ubiquitous and easily available that that's what they're going to, that's what they're going to do. And I think that the, uh, Alexis basket isn't going to help you with him. So that's something to consider. To me, the, probably one of the better ones would be this. Uh, if he could get a consistent attack buff, but I doubt he can. So um, I doubt like you'll have a team that will run it. And like I said, the evasion isn't necessarily very good on him because uh, because uh, like th they're going to avoid hitting him until the, the, the counter buff comes off. But... This could be an argument for it because once that like if you're running a really fast basically if you're running a really fast uh Urvalen, um like kind of the opposite so if you're running like a 240 speed Urvalen and like a slower uh, t crows it what you can do right is um have him go 
And by the time his counter buff wears off, this is already at max stacks, right? So if they've been avoiding him until after the counter buff is worn off, They'll hit him and they'll find out he has 30% evasion, right? And then maybe you run something else like a uh, Cartusia there. It's 45. It's basically 50%. Um, so, you know, it's up to you. You got to consider these things on your team. Um, the Torn Sleeve, you got a Bleed Proc. It's, it's like it's really not that um, good. It only, it's only good on really, what's her name? Uh, effectiveness, increased speed. And then you get the speed buff, which, you know, it's all right. Um, oh, I forgot what this thing does. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Oh, so this doesn't even have to stack either. Uh, twenty. I forgot that they added this. Hit chance by 20%. So you're basically just countering uh, Cartouches and um, uh, Dream Blades, which is kind of interesting. Um, he can't execute, so it's not like it's that good. Because basically the only reason you want to counter Dream Blade is to counter um, Arby's. But like I said, you know. He's just gonna come back to life and just kill everybody, so it's not that not that useful. Um, this one is all right too, but it's not. It's just like if you need the attack buff. This is another evasion one, so you're basically countering this one too. Yeah. Uh, double edge. We already saw what that did. So basically, I might run something like this on him, just because, like I said, the attack buff is good. Increasing the survivability with more with some with a little bit of evasion looks kind of fun, but um, you really need to like pick your spots with that. What I did look, what I did like was was uh, running uh, Elia's knife on him just to get some defense pen, and basically you turn him into <laughs> like a small um, uh, a small what's his name a small Riolu. This one, like I said, this one looks pretty good uh, just because since you're countering, this can actually get trigger off of the counter, so you can hit someone twice. Uh, it, it, with the counter, but like I said, you have to realize they're gonna try to avoid him at all costs. Uh, a lot of the time, a lot of the time. Uh, but if you're running in like RTA and you really want him to be fast, then there you go. This is pretty good because you'll S3 someone. Um, then the the enemy team will be like, okay, we really need. I need to. The enemy player will be like, I really need to get rid of that or Valen. Um And they'll you know they'll have to just bite the billet and 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 attack into his his counter chance. And uh, if that's the case, then you know this will be a lot. This will be way more beneficial. Um, this of course is the most useless thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it's like the, the dumbest thing ever. Uh, you get evasion. Yeah, evasion and defense. Um, it could be all right because you get a defense buff off of the T Crozet, but uh, other than that, it's like not really that good. And Silver Rain, I forgot what this one did. Um, yeah, when using non-attack skill, he doesn't have any non-attack skills. So you can see here what the dilemma is, is that like there's not a whole lot that's like best in slot for uh, Urvalen, right? Like it's there's not there's not a lot that you can just put there and be like, dude, that is the most perfect thing uh, I've ever seen on him. Um, and there's not a whole lot going on over here either. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, Portrait of the Saviors, more damage, and that's about all you're going to do, really. Um, so yeah, I mean, it depends on what you prioritize. If you do prioritize the more damage... By all means, run the portrait, but I think there, there's a lot more you can to be had uh, with Urvalen and his kit and all that kind of stuff. So, um, currently, I mean, I'm going to have to just go with the Moonblade, or I might just go with the Moonblade, but the problem being, the problem with that being, um, it's not going to be active on turn one, so it's not very useful. And the other thing is, like, if you want Elia's knife, it's not going to be active on turn one either, if you're running the, like, the T-Crozet combination. Uh, because no one's been hit. All you did was an S2 or an S3 that didn't touch anybody. Uh, no one's below max health, right? So that's something. That's another thing to consider. Um, but yeah, I mean, ultimately, I might have to run with like, like I said, I might have to run with this uh, just because for one, the attack buff is nice, uh, and evasion is nice. If if you're running into a team that has like, you know, might have like a fire unit that'll that you can bait. Like if you're if you're if it's on player phase and and they attack, you know, they you're fighting against AI with him. Uh, it might be useful, um, but uh, I think it's, it might be time to max out my um, my Dust Devil and try with that, see how that goes. Uh, but yeah, like I said, there's there's not a whole lot that's like, I don't know, it's not a whole lot that screams out to me like, yeah, this is what you need on him. Um, I, even though a lot of people do really like the uh, portrait, but then again, there's people who run portrait on their uh, ML Crows, so you know, take that for what you will. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that's about it. There, there wasn't a whole lot more. Like I said, fortunately, the summoning session took a while, so I got to talk during that. And then um, right now, uh, let's see, where are we? Right now, we're just reviewing what artifacts to run on him. And in terms of sets, again, it depends on how you want to build them. Like, if you want to build them like most Riolus, I think you wouldn't be too poorly served with that, as long as he has some sort of uh, survivability. Like like I said, T. Crozet being there, soaking up a lot of his hits, uh, might be good. So if if that's the case, then maybe you run him fast, run him like 250 or 240, 220 speed, something like that. Have him hit decently hard. Um, just speed and damage, and there you go. You're, you're basically solid is, is what... Um, it might boil down to, uh, but I think uh, given the fact that uh, I don't have that kind of gear to have to put to put him at that speed and then still have decent attack left over him, um, I'm gonna I'm probably just gonna run him with the T Crozet and uh, like a slower set. Uh, the thing about the slower sets, the slower set, the slower the slower set too, is that uh, his buffs stay up longer. So if I give him the the you know. The, the crit resist buff, the... What's the other one? The, the the shield he gets, the counter buff, the freaking... Um, what's the... The attack buff if he gets it. Uh, and the defense buff. Like, all these buffs, right? If he gets them, the counter buff, I think... I, I don't know if I mentioned that. But all those buffs he gets, they last longer the less turns he takes, right? And that's kind of what... Like, that's kind of what you want, right? Like, just have him not take too many turns. Um... And he, he gets to keep them all. So basically, that's kind of the idea there. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, it's, it's you know, it really just depends on, on what you're running him for. I think, I don't think he's going to be very good on defense, but I might try him on defense just because uh, people are running real lose on defense. So it's like, well, let's, uh, let's, try, let's try what we can with this. Uh, of course, they're not the same, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, I guess let's go look at T. Croza because I'm not... I'm kind of uh, blanking on a little bit of his uh, his kit here. I don't, I don't remember what the uh, the full S3 does. And I clicked it and it sent me all the way back here. Thank you. Oh, here they are. I was like, I pressed back here, but I should have gone over here. Um, let's go find knights. Knights, 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 knights. Uh, this right here. Uh, the cool thing about this too is it's like on turn one, if you're running, like you can run T Crozet with a speed and immunity set. Then on turn one, not only does he see he see our boosts um, or Valen, uh, he gives him a full cleanse, defense, and uh, where is it here? The critical hit chance resistance all by himself. Plus, obviously, we're talking about this thing here. Uh, on a, on a four turn cooldown, which hopefully you outspeed him enough to to keep applying those buffs, and then if they hit him, um, he's gonna he's gonna do this right. He's gonna counter with this. So that's something to consider. Uh, the problem being, uh, you're kind of susceptible to the uh, what's his name? Oh, what's that guy's name? You know his name? Uh, <laughs> damn it! I'm, I'm like blanking here. Uh, let's see what's this do. Health, yeah. Uh, Basar, right? Basar, you're kind of susceptible to Basar a little bit um, because of that. So, you know, it is what it is. Kind of not much you can do about it. Um, and on top of that, like I said, it's going to take some serious gear because look at how low his speed is. Um, like basically probably everything. Like you have to have everything at least 15 and maybe some 20 pieces in there, right? Because uh, if, if the speed gave him, the speed set gives him 25, theoretically, right? You're two under, so you're not going to get 25 exactly, but we can we can kind of estimate that. So you get 25 speed plus 40 speed. That's uh, 60, 65 speed on top of this. So you're at one... Let's pretend. Let's just round it up to 100, right? Make it easier. So you're at 160 speed. Uh, you have five more pieces. Five. There you go. Right. That's how bad it is. You basically need to have a plus 20 piece on every on every uh, other, other slot for speed, right? Because then at plus 20, that's two four. You know, that's 100 extra speed. So he's at 160 with a speed set and a boot. Uh, right. 160 or 170. 25 plus 45. 65, 70. So yeah, it's 170. 170, you need to have... If you have 20 on every piece, you can get them to be... Uh, what? 170 plus 20 on each piece is 270, right? That's so... Yeah. Sorry, you're watching me do like really idiotic math here. 
Um, but yeah, if you're running him on 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 speed set plus speed boots, uh, that's 170 speed. If you have 20 on all your pieces, which you know you're not going to because you're not a whale, and you know because no one on this channel is a whale, um, you're gonna have 100 extra speed. So that's 270 speed. So you can start sacrificing. Maybe this piece has 15 speed or 14 speed, right? Uh, and you can get down to like a 240, 250 speed, uh, you know, Krauser. And then depending on where you are in arena and or where your guild is placed. Um. Yeah, depending on on those factors, you know, different speeds are mean different things at different places, right? So if you're like at a top, you know, top twenty guild, two fifty speed is where he needs to be at. Like he need to be two fifty, almost two sixty, right, at that speed. But if you're if you're in lower le lower le lower end guild and you don't make, you know, you never you don't really reach um, legend in arena, you kind of you know hang around, you know, lower end uh, challenger or is a champion, lower end champion, and and kind of like mid to high end uh challenger then you know 220 speed is actually quite a bit down there right so like you know you can you know just hold on to that gear and, and what he has on him until you find upgrades and you just boost it over time right uh, so it depends on, on where you are in the game and all that kind of stuff so that's something to also consider um oh and actually uh, before we we leave i want to kind of document this a little bit see if we can here uh i don't know if i've logged into the guild in a while <laughs> let's just uh, I need to make sure I donate. Hold on. Well, I'll go do that later. Uh, Guild War 7 errors. We lost. I can't believe that. I didn't think we'd lose. I thought we were going to win. It looked like we were going to win. Um, we lost by eh, we lost by a decent amount. So that kind of sucks. Um, what was the point of this? Confirm. How do I get rid of the screen? Oh, where, where are we now then? 48. So we're at top 50 at least. Uh, the, the the thing I wanted to show off is because I didn't record this guild work, so I was too busy, so I just did it on my phone, uh, like in, you know somewhere else. Um, we were in top twenty. Uh, does it say here? Yeah, we we're in top twenty. It doesn't say here. Damn it! That's why I wanted to like. Uh, so I wanted to show it off. Uh, but yeah, we we're in top twenty. So um, if we had won that one, which I mean, it wasn't. Too, we weren't too far off. Is the thing I want to point out there. We were seventy-eight or something. They were eighty-three. Uh, 79 to 85 so we're like 600 off i mean that's not a whole lot considering we're talking about 8,000. um yeah so if we had one we'd be like in top 10 somewhere so <laughs> that would have been super cool uh but alas it was not meant to be so we're in uh top 50. uh depending on how we get matched up i think um we might match up with someone else and we might we're probably going to drop down again i think uh but it is what it is uh but yeah so this is kind of like the la one of the last uh, guild war things i'm going to show off that like you know where we are and all that stuff uh, after that probably not too much uh but yeah I, i'm sort of going off about uh, other things now so like i said take uh, some of the stuff I, I said here and some of the stuff other people are talking about like if you guys watch astronox's video he already got him at like plus 15 at least on the s3 well i don't know about, like i said it's not plus 15 but like his s3 is maxed uh and, and i feel like he's barely doing um he's barely doing you know what you want him to do which is one shot tanky units um and that's like that's high-end gear that's forty six thousand attack 4600 attack with almost 350 crit damage uh, and i do think you want to you want to boost his crit damage a lot more um because of ulterior scaling here um so yeah keep that in mind for those of you building him uh like i said i'm going to be running that uh that's i'm going to try well i'm going to try to be running that set and and see the the nick seed set as soon as i get it which it's going to be forever before i get that um but yeah so you know that's probably when i'm gonna run to him a uh, huge amount of crit damage as much crit chance as possible and hopefully i can find some way to give him a little bit more speed than, than none at all um, i think that set comes with attack crit chance crit damage and speed so that might be you know solid on its own so uh i wish i i had uh more resources and more time to play this game so i could pull for another one because this six percent this uh six five percent crit chance is no joke um, it's very very powerful for for uh, building him just giving you a lot of stats so uh, yeah I mean that, that that'll be it for today um, hopefully you all uh, gain something from this um, let me see real quick what is I keep forgetting what his other one is he gives out health which is excellent right because if you're running in with T Crozet uh, you're giving T Crozet more health I mean it's it's a very small amount but you know any amount is is good when he's gonna be absorbing like a massive amount of damage off of off of him um, but uh yeah so 
like I said, take take what you what I, what I mentioned in this video, uh, and and look around and see how other people you know what's going on with them, how their builds are doing. Um, I saw like I said, I saw that video um, with Astronox where he basically just one shot a Charles, and that looks pretty all right. Uh, hit him for nineteen thousand. Um, Charles are built kind of like around 15, 16 K with some decent defense. Uh, but a lot of them are kind of just like sacking defense. Like they're just getting rid of their defense for more damage stats. Um, so, you know, if, if someone comes up with a decent amount of defense, then you're going to have some decent trouble there. But uh, yeah. Uh, and he had him at around like sub 9,000 HP. So you're going to be fighting against, you know, people to a decent, to, you know, pretty tanky people. Uh, but yeah, like I said, it, it just depends. We'll, we'll see how he performs. I'll uh, I'll build him up as soon as I can, and uh, maybe I'll make a video. I don't know. My weekends are kind of like I only have weekends off, and I only have Sunday off. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like I said, I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, but yeah, I've already tried to end this video a few times, but you know that's that. I'll see you guys uh, next time whenever this video comes out. So again, sorry about the uh, lack of uploads, but uh, yeah, that's it.